Hello. Can you tell which one's which? This here is another one of my trinkets. This is my bobblehead of Rob Holmes. This one I got at a booth at the Venetian in Las Vegas. It cost me like 150 bucks, and uh, I thought it was well worth it. Probably the best souvenir I ever bought in my life. It took about a month to get it made, but they take your picture there and do this whole 3D thing. It's pretty neat, but. What do you think? All right, on to the reading. Now we're getting into marriage. The Orange County Starbucks mug bought in the downtown Disney shopping district. It is better to have loved and lost than never to have lost at all. Samuel Butler kind of flips those two to make a little haha -ha out of it. 145, Woody Allen. I sold my memoirs of my love life to Parker Brothers, and they're going to make a game of it. <laughs> He's always good for a laugh. The only solid lasting peace between a man and his wife is doubtless separation. No comment. Lord Chesterfield, 19, or 1694 to 1773. 147. Ambrose Bierce, again, my long-lost relative, so they say. Marriage, a master, a mistress, and two slaves, making it all two. 148, marriage is not a word, but a sentence. Ah, eh? ah, eh? a sentence. Unknown, 149, this is Mae West. Her famous line was, I never met a man I didn't like. Um, here's what she says here. For you young folks, she was like the first uh, bombshell kind of sex pot uh, movie star back in the olden days. Kind of the first Madonna without a singing voice. Marriage is a great institution, but I'm not ready for an institution. 150, H.L. Mencken. If I ever marry, it will be on a good, it'll be on a sudden impulse as a man shoots himself. I don't like that one, only because of, you know, my history. 151. For the upper middle class, marriage is the only adventure left. Unknown. Jules Pfeffer on marriage. 152. We want playmates we can own. Hmm. Shelley Winters. 153. It was so cold that I almost got married. She used to be my neighbor. Yep, in her dying years or old years, she was my neighbor on Oakhurst Drive in Beverly Hills. And we'll leave it at this. Um, one day, I saw her at the Ralph's grocery store returning grapes. Yes, returning grapes and making a big deal about it. That's what movie stars do when they get old. They return grapes. Have a great day, everybody. I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.